I was able to go work um, on Wall Street and, and like, become a vice president. And I never, like, I, I, I'm very open about this, of the fact that I use fake documents to work mm -hmm. there. And, you know, mm -hmm. I don't recommend anybody do that because there's a lot of consequences <laughs> to that. Um, but I also recognize, like, I got very lucky because I, I didn't get caught. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if I had gotten caught, maybe I would have never been able to adjust my immigration status. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I was able to adjust my status because, um, because my, my husband um, is a U.S. citizen, and mm -hmm. that's how I was able to adjust. But even then, it's like I was able to adjust because I came with a visa. Yeah. You know, I didn't have, I had a legal entry. And so mm -hmm. there are all these things that I always yeah. am very careful to say to people, like, yeah, you can look at my story and just think, like, oh, this is, like, a perfect example. And it's like, no, like, I recognize all the things that, I didn't do it. I didn't, you know, I didn't do any. I didn't do anything different than so many people who still cannot adjust their status. Mm -hmm. I'm not any different than uh, the 800,000 DACA recipients who, uh, who, whose lives are still in limbo. And mm -hmm. and that's really why I do the work that I do because I take a lot of responsibility in how my life has turned out, and uh, I wanna I wanna do whatever I can to make sure that other people have the same opportunities that I've had.